Hey guys, welcome to the 2020 Hyundai Accent. One thing I do like about this job is the variety that I get to experience. We have some very expensive cars and some very inexpensive cars. This week, we are in the latter. This has a 120 horsepower, 1.6 liter direct port injection motor. Not just direct injection anymore, they're doing port injection, which should help with carbon buildup in the long term. I like to see Hyundai doing that. Makes 120 horsepower, that's mated to their iCVT. It's a pretty basic car. You've got heated seats, Apple CarPlay, a decent stereo, a steering wheel, four wheels, five seats, decent materials in here, and uh, all for pretty low asking price. Let's walk you around this Accent and uh, we'll go for a test drive. Honestly, there's a surprisingly large trunk. Pretty good for a car in this class. The back seat is a little bit cramped, but that's probably about what you'd expect from a vehicle this size. Seated behind myself at five foot 10, I still have a little bit of room. Headroom is slim, but uh, this would have a little bit more space if it were a hatchback. This accent gets fantastic gas mileage. 33 miles to the gallon on the city, 41 on the highway. Like most Hyundais here, there's no one thing that really sticks out to me as bothersome or worrisome. It's pretty well equipped, well priced, nice features. It's not necessarily exciting or sporty to drive, just very, very normal. There is a sport mode though. Let's see how that does. Gives you some simulated shifts from that IVT. speed it's actually reasonably quiet not a ton of wind noise so we do get Apple CarPlay Android Auto all that good stuff it's actually a nice quality screen it's sharp good levels of contrast the screens responsive it falls to hand well the ride quality is a little bit stiffer on these 17 inch wheels Imagine a lower trim model with smaller wheels would have a little bit better ride quality. Otherwise, the suspension seems to be pretty well damped and uh, handles corners with its light weight pretty well as well. Adequate power there from that 1.6 liter. No fancy cruise control, but of course you do get emergency braking and all that good stuff. 
all standard safety features in most vehicles these days. Auto climate control, buttons and knobs for everything, Got a manual handbrake. to say here just a, a good bargain compact car if you want something a little bit more exciting and engaging to drive I would recommend the Toyota Yaris slash Mazda 2 though this accent does have a manual transmission that's offered in the base trim that's probably the one I would go for to be perfectly honest but you do give up some features I wish manufacturers would let you get the manual transmission in more luxurious loaded up trims that would be nice not to be forced into a featureless car but I understand that is the cheapest option you do get better fuel economy with this IVT about four miles to the gallon better than the previous year That good forward visibility. Rear view mirror isn't impeded by headrests or anything. They even give you a little wide angle fisheye mirror here on the left driver's side. A few menus here showing you your gas mileage. This week we've averaged about 34 miles to the gallon. Driving around normally, this engine is very quiet. Don't really notice much CVT character. Get a little bit of whine when you give it some more throttle, but most of the time it's pretty good, it's pretty quiet. actually a decent amount of steering feel. Brakes feel good. Usually compact cars have decent feedback. Not completely isolated. getting a little bit more NVH from these larger 17s, but that's an easy fix if it bothers you and you live in an area with rough roads. Headlights look really good too. Very bright. All right guys, well there you go. Hyundai Accent. I'd probably take the venue over this, but uh, if you're still into compact cars, not a bad way to go. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.